Today we're looking at an item that has skyrocketed in value. It is now the number one item in the entire category on eBay. And most people don't have a clue that it carries the kind of value that it does. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about something that has skyrocketed to some insane values in just a couple of years. Just a few years ago, the items we're going to talk about today were only selling for 40 or 50 bucks for an entire set of these. At this point now, you can sell sets of these for thousands and thousands of dollars. Individual cards from the Marvel Universe series can go for some insane amounts of money. These are holograms that I've been storing up for years. Every time I find them, I've been setting them aside until the price went up. The first set came out in 1990. That was Marvel Universe 1. The second one in 91 and so on and so on. The first and second sets are worth the most. Obviously, there were fewer of them printed. Hence, the value does go up. Now, I'm going to show you some prices. We'll get some close-ups on these so you can see exactly what we're talking about here. These are the hottest items in the entire category right now. They dwarf every single thing else in there and most people aren't aware of that people are walking by these constantly there are some insiders to it what you need to do with them in all too let's hop over right now and look at some of the outlandish prices some of these are going for right this very second now just a handful of years ago these were going for almost nothing you could sell a whole set of these maybe if you're lucky for 40 or 50 bucks now, with all the new Marvel movies coming out, taking over pretty much Hollywood with all the superhero movies, these have become super, super hot. The first series, people are grading individual cards, having them PSA slabbed on these, and selling them for $1,500. Now, when these first came out, we bought up every one we could get our hands on trying to get sets of these together just because of the holograms that I showed you in the beginning here. The holograms sold me on these. They were the first ones of its kind to be released in card sets like this. Many of the earlier ones are crude. Um, the quality of them isn't anywhere near as good as, say, Marvel Universe 4 cards, but they're phenomenal collectibles at this point now. They didn't make a ton of them. The inserts, the holograms were randomly inserted in every so many boxes or so many per box so they're fairly scarce to find even back in the day when we went through boxes and boxes probably cases worth of these they were that hard to find now we bought all of the marvel cards from back in that time frame 90 through say 96 97 and we've just hung on to them for quite some time so i honestly have watched this category for a very long time it's been underrated with what it was for many many years this is an auction as well it had 42 bids so 42 different bids to get it up to that price it's not some random one-off sale there are many of these sorts going for these high insane prices here's another graded card as well this this is just a trading card it's just like a baseball card but it's from marvel universe from 1990 another graded card 1525 dollars just some really phenomenal prices for these now many people will say this is a fad these aren't going to stay like this this is the way the market's been running for over a year as of right now we've made some incredibly good money selling these cards i've snagged up every single one i can get we've been socking them aside i've sent off hundreds of dollars worth to PSA myself to have our cards graded as well. One thing when you're thinking about the grading on here, one thing most people miss, they might say the card itself is all squared off, there's no damage or anything else like that, but one deciding factor is how well it's centered. To get a top rated grade, it has to be perfectly centered. Many people miss that, spend the money, send them off, and they're not centered. Hence, they won't be worth as much. This one has 73 bids, so it's a very nice sale in my book. Now here's Grey Hulk. This one went for $900. Now they've got RC at the end. A lot of people are calling these rookie cards. Many of the people pictured in these, this would be their first appearance in a card set. So a lot of people are calling these rookie cards. I don't see the market just immediately tanking or anything else like that either. This has been steadily increasing over a year now. So when it keeps increasing, the market keeps going up, even as more people flush the market with newer items. These are super hot and the supply does not mean the demand right now in any of these 
Now here is one of the holograms here, and this is only graded in eight, and this one still went for 520 bucks. There's five different holograms to the set. They all go in this type of range. Even in lesser condition, you're still getting top dollar for these. Now just a few years ago, you'd be lucky to get 60 bucks for the entire set of these holograms. They are hot right now though. Now, one of my favorites from all of those series that came out was this one here, Spider-Man vs. Venom. This is a different type of hologram. This is done with a laser beam. It's on like a mylar uh, with like a really thick backing. So it's about the thickness of a regular cardboard uh, trading card, you'd say. This is phenomenal. It's got super depth. They've done some other ones after this as well. This was randomly inserted in every so many boxes. So this one at the time, even back then when this first came out you get 50 bucks for it right now 500 dollars as a psa 9 now this is one of them here i don't know how well it's going to show but the backs of them are black there's nothing on the backs of these at all excellent cards though the holograms are what i really loved in those i collected every hologram i could get my hands on when they first started coming out holograms are still holding their value obviously the price has incredibly climbed though in just the last few years so if you're unaware you're not going to be able to rake out on these now, even on graded, you can see they're still going for some good money here. This is just the five holograms that you could get 60 bucks for a few years ago. They're now going for 550 This is not an outlier either. This is the standard price of most of these. Here's another one. This one went for more, but it has the complete card set with it. The holograms are what everybody wants. These were scarce back then. They're even scarcer right this very second. Now, this one's probably a dealer's listing here. They've sold 18 sets of these for $800 a set. Probably a dealer by the quantity they're selling. Unopened boxes of these can go for some phenomenal money, which we're going to show you in just a minute here. Here's just one more example. 700 is the average what I'm seeing on this set going for now. I find these things all over the place. Garage sales are great. Auction houses, for sure. Flea markets, pretty much anywhere. Even Craigslist, I've picked these up on and things like that. Real recently, too. So these are still out there. And lastly, a sealed box goes for some buku bucks, as you can see. Just a few years ago, a couple of hundred bucks for most any of these you would find. And there is a ton of them going. This page goes on and on and on and on. And there's thousands of these selling right now, all into the thousands of dollars. These are just the boxes you're seeing right here. The cards, as you saw, too, are still going for some good money also. But anyway, this is an area that we've been making a ton of money. If you grade them, you spend the extra money, you take the extra time, you can get a heck of a lot more money three, four, five, even ten times the price you would if you just sold them straight out. Of course, you got to know your conditions. Don't send them away if you don't know if they're going to rate high enough to be worth your while. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. magnetic wands. The bus pulls in the terminal, rushing for the train. It stops just in the nick of time and then zooms out again. A car speeds up the street. He must be late. Oh, too bad. There goes the railroad gate. <laughs>
Dad runs to the ticket window, has to pay his fare. Mom says, better hurry, the train will soon be there. Look, there's Union Station Special chugging down the track. Pull it in the station now. Everyone, stand back. Better tell that passenger to leave the flower shop. This lady wants some candy, but she has no time to stop. Boy, whoops, he missed. He's so mad, he's doing the twist. Get Union Station, complete with 74 parts, easy to put together. And remember, get magnetic-powered Thimble City wherever you get Union Station by Remco.